Hey everybody, Colonel here. Welcome back to more NCAA Football 2004. In the last episode, we took care of Purdue 53 to 7. And now, ladies and gentlemen, we are 11 and 0 overall, 7 and 0 in the Big 10, and we're about to go up against our 9 and 2 rival who is now I believe 6 and 1 in the Big 10. It's that team up north, a.k.a. Michigan. Now, this ha this game has big implications in the BCS. If I win as Ohio State, we're headed to the national championship, and we won the Big Ten title. But if Michigan wins, they are the Big Ten champions, and they will head to the Rose Bowl, while we are probably going to be headed towards probably the Capital One Bowl. Because that's like the second place bowl game for the Big Ten. Or we might go to a major BCS bowl. I don't know. But yeah. This has big Im bowl implications. Big BCS bowl implications. So. Without further ado. Let's get this game on. And how crazy and how fitting is it for... You know, Ohio State to go up against Michigan, who's in the top 10. That's pretty insane. So, yeah, here we go. It's Ohio State and Michigan, the biggest rivalry of them all. Let's do it. And here are our key players for the Buckeyes. Michael Jenkins, Chris Gamble, and A.J. Hawk. They are going to be very big key players for us. But everyone's focus is on that Michigan offense. That's going to be our big trouble for us. in this stadium. Hey folks, Brad Nessler, Lee Corso, and Kirk Herbstreet here, and it doesn't get any bigger than Michigan, Ohio State, as far as rivalries go. Kirk, how do you see this one? This really looks like a deadlock. This could go to either team. You're right, and that's why I think individual performances will be the difference. Ohio State has a sensational quarterback on their side who's a true leader. I think his presence on the field gives them a slight advantage, and Lee, I think that's going to be the difference in an extremely close game. I disagree, and I'm going to tell you why. Ohio State is in trouble here defensively. I agree this will be a close game, but I think their inability to slow down this passing game will be the difference today. Thanks, guys. Should be an exciting game. Now let's get down to midfield where they're ready for the coin toss. All right, coin toss. I will select tails. I lost the toss to Michigan, and they will receive, so I will get the ball in the second half. All right, guys. Here we go. Who will win the Big Ten Championship? We're about to find out in the next, I don't know how many minutes. So here we go. And they will kneel it in the end zone for a touchback. And we're going to go with our signature Mad Robber 4-4 defense. And hoping that it slows down the Michigan offense. They're going to hand it off, and he's going to be tackled for a loss. I had no gain on that play. Okay. And this is why our defense is number one. We only had 122 yards averaged allowed. Now they're going to go to throw, and it's incomplete. Dustin Fox on the pass coverage. 
and that will bring up third down for the Wolverines. They are first in the nation for third down conversions. And that is no longer a fact. That is now no longer a fact because they messed up messed up on the third down conversion and now they will have to punt the ball away to Chris Gamble who is dangerous on the special teams and they're just going to kick it out of bounds at the 50. And this one's going to go out of bounds at the 47. Ah, at the 47. We'll take that. So here comes the epic Ohio State offense. With Troy Smith as the quarterback and Lionel Ross as the running back. Wide receivers are Chris Gamble and Michael Jenkins, the tight end, Ben Hartsock, the fullback, Brandon Joe. Handing it off to Lydell Ross. And Lydell Ross, he's going to get some running room here. And he spin moves! And he is gone! Touchdown, Ohio State! An epic touchdown of Everett Proportions for Lydell Ross here. My goodness. Let's see that spin move again. Boom! Spin move to Wolverine. And he was gone. Oh my goodness. What an epic touchdown. And what a way to start the game. Buckeyes strike first against their rival, the Wolverines. And now, Mike Nugent will attempt the extra point. Craig Krenzel to hold. Kick is up, and he's got it. So it's 7-0 Ohio State already. A great, great start. But there's still a lot of game to go. Now here's the cornerback for Michigan. And he's down at the 19-yard line. So that's, that's good field position for the defense, for the Buckeye defense. So now it's first and 10. The bad robbers suppressed the Michigan offense last time Michigan had the ball. So let's see if we can do it again. Fake handoff, and he's sacked! Sacked by linebacker number five. Oh boy, they weren't expecting that, but it happened. Loss of seven. They are now down at their own 12. They're going to throw. It's incomplete. Will Allen had a chance to intercept it, but he just let it go, dropped to the floor. And now it's third and 17 for the Wolverines. Looks like they're going to go past this one again. Oh, there's motion. Yep, they're going to pass it. Throws, it's caught, but Will Allen makes the tackle and prevents a first down for Michigan. Now they'll have to punt it again. <coughs> so will the punter punt it out of bounds or will they let Chris Gamble return it? They will let Chris Gamble return it. Taking it from the 40. He makes it to the 50. And he gets near the 45. Okay, let's see what slants will do. Let's try some throwing um, plays. Gonna throw to Michael Jenkins. He's wide open, and Jenkins is gone! Touchdown, Ohio State! What in the world is going on with the number nine ranked team in the country? They are getting blown out by number one, Ohio State. It is unbelievable. And he hits the PAT. The kick is good. And the Buckeyes lead 14-0 against Michigan. Tackle at the 20, so... Ah, uh, 21, okay, whatever. So, Michigan's got some some good field position, but not that good. 
This will be a first and down. They're lining up in the I formation. They're going to throw it. And oh, A.J. Hawk just met the quarterback. Or the quarterback met A.J. Hawk. Whatever it is, they met A.J. Hawk. And A.J. Hawk broke his record once again. This man is on fire. Second and 15. And a tackle for a loss. Number 46, Fred Pagick Jr. Third and 15 now for the Wolverines as they try to convert it here. They're 0 for 2 now. And they will be 0 for 3. The number one third down conversion team in the country is losing their grip on it. As they will now have to punt the ball away. It's another three and out for the Wolverines. And Gamble will return this at the 45. And Gamble, he's going to get over midfield at the 47. So good field position to start Ohio State's next drive. So I'm going to go with halfback tackle and see what happens here. And Lydell Ross, he's got a good running, and I think he got the first down. 57 yards already, and yep, that's a first down. We're going to hurry up to the line with a hurry-up offense. All right, a four-yard gain makes it second and six. Oh, boy, I picked the wrong play. Audible. Okay, now the... Let's try this. Okay, that doesn't work. Okay, uh, triangle. And I'm going to get a delay of game. So that's going to be a five-yard penalty for me for not picking the right play. Just messing with the audibles. So it will be second and 11. I'm going to throw it, and it's incomplete intended for Michael Jenkins. And nothing I could do there. I got tackled for a loss. So the Michigan defense did something great, but uh, I'm actually going to attempt a field goal. So this is a log field goal. This is going to be a nearly 60-yard field goal. I think it might be a 60-yard field goal. So let's see if Mike Nugent has enough kick to his boot. And it's short. No good. While the attempt was a nice try, it didn't get there. So now it'll be first and ten for the Wolverines at the 42. Michigan lines up in a pro set. They'll give it off here. And down he goes. Pick up of a yard for the tailback. One yard picked up on the play. Tackle was by Chris Gamble. Ball on the 43. Second and nine here for the Wolverines. And tackle. The running back gets two on the carry. Only two yards on that carry. Okay. Ball on the 45. Michigan comes to the line. Only one man in the backfield. Now let's see if we can hold him here on third down. And here comes the defense. Complete. They caught it, and oh no, he he's gone. Touchdown, Michigan. Great. 
And they attempt to block it, but it was no good. So Michigan got a field goal. Great. And Maurice Hall took it from the 10 yard line and he got some good field position all the way up to the 30. Ohio State comes out with an I formation. Throw Going to the I formation. Going Throwing it to Michael Jenkins and he's caught it. And he's all the way down to the 37. Heck of what a, a catch from Michael Jenkins. A nice chunk of yardage. This kid is a very special football player. He can make the catch over the middle in traffic or he can take it the distance using his speed. He can do <laughs> it all. It's first and 10. Ball on the 37. Lionel Ross will run this. He trucks a man. And down he go at the 31 Almost got the first down right there. Back gives them six on the ground. And I'll just let the quarter end. And that'll be the end of the first quarter with our score. Ohio State 14, Michigan 7. So it's so we have ourselves a ball game, ladies and gentlemen. Second and four coming up here. Ball on the 31 yard line. Second and four here. Defense lines up with eight men in the box. And Lydell Ross got the first down. Six yards on the carry. First and ten. Ball on the 25. Now we'll be in the shotgun formation. Michigan has all their DBs in for this five wide set. Back to pass. He's looking. Going to throw to Santonio Holmes, and it's incomplete. Overpowered it. Too much juice on that one. This quarterback sometimes gets a little bit too excited back there and tries to put too much on it. You got to relax and just make a good throw. It's second down and 10 to go. Ball on the 25-yard line. The Buckeye. Go with the I formation. Second and 10. Going to throw to... Ben Hartsock and Hartsock's got a first down for the Buckeyes. A good throw plus a nice catch and some good blocking equals to a chunk of yards. That's exactly what you practice all the time, Brad. The Buckeye line up in an eye formation. Air off to Lytle Ross and Lytle Ross, he's almost there. So we're going to hurry it up with a hurry up offense. Trying to catch the Wolverine defense off guard, and they are off guard. Touchdown, Ohio State. Lionel Ross with his second rushing touchdown of the season. Well, not of the season, but of the game. Ugh. Second rushing touchdown for Lionel Ross today, which is great. It's really great. <clears throat> and he hits the PAT. Over four minutes remain in the second quarter, and our score is Ohio State 21, Michigan 7. Ohio State lines up. Now Ohio State off. will kick this one off to Michigan. Time. And he got all this one. <coughs> Number three fields it in the end zone. Let's see if this defense has trouble defending the pass again here. If they do, my friend, look out. They're going to give up another touchdown in a hurry. They'll get the ball here at the 20-yard line. Defense lines up with eight men in the box. On the ground with the tailback. And he's taken down. They got a little bit there, but less than a yard. Only one yard gained on that play. Ball on the 21. Second and nine for Michigan. Number 16 lines up in the shotgun. Drops back to pass. Throws. Intercepted by Chris Gamble. And oh boy, he broke his own record. Oh yeah. Does he likes to bait the quarterback into thinking the receiver is open. He actually will give him a step because he knows he has the speed and acceleration. And now the Buckeyes are in business here. In the air. And that pick right there gives him the NCAA record for most interceptions in one season. What a fantastic year for this kid. Ohio State sets up in the eye, setting up the play. Takes the hand off. Looking for Michael Jenkins. He's got it. And he's in. Touchdown, Ohio State. Over 
receivers catching everything thrown what a beautiful ball thrown by Troy Smith and I know a lot of people were like we didn't get in he didn't get in bro he did get in Michael Jenkins did get in that's why he's called mr. clutch he comes up with clutch catches like Nugent kicks it and it's good Michigan seven. Number eighty-five is lined up to kick this one off. Number three and number twenty-one back to return. He kicks it off, and he got all of that one. Number and they will return it from their own end zone. And they did not get to the twenty-yard line. I presume. Yep, they didn't get it. Didn't get to the twenty-yard line. They'll take over at the eighteen. Michigan in a four-wide set. Here comes the defense. It's picked up by Chris Gamble again. And Gamble's going to have a touchdown. He gets it in. Unbelievable. First interception. They had to go use the offense for a touchdown. But this time, it's a defensive touchdown for Chris Gamble. Finally. Back-to-back -back interceptions. And this time, it was a touchdown. Oh boy, is Lloyd Carr about to have a temper tantrum right now? He's literally having one right now, folks, as we speak. His, you know, video game form. Of the video game form of Lloyd Carr is having a big old temper tantrum. And he's asking himself, why am I getting beat by Ohio State? Well, the question is, well, tech, not the question is, the answer is, uh, you don't have the talent to beat Ohio State. That's just true facts. True facts. And he got sacked by Robert Reynolds. Number 23 lines up as a single back. Back to pass. Under heavy pressure. And sacked again by number 54, Tim Anderson. Can we get another sack at this time in the end zone? Because they're at their own three yard line. If they sack Michigan in their own end zone, it's all over, folks. It's all over. And he's under pressure, and uh, there's a guy open. There's a guy open. Thank you, Chris Gamble, with the tackle. Man, Troy Smith's doing a whole lot better than uh, Michigan's quarterback. That's for sure. Besides, Troy Smith, he's a redshirt freshman in this game. Number seven takes it at the he actually redshirted his uh, 2002 season, which is a little fun fact for y'all. Yeah, he actually was part of the 2002 national championship team. For people who just didn't know about that, there you know. A little fun fact for you. So yeah, Troy Smith redshirted his 2002 season. Now he's playing as a redshirt freshman here in this game. And he's going to throw it to Michael Jenkins. It's tipped and incomplete. Yeah, that was a touchdown until, you know, some guy from Michigan just tipped my ball. And I didn't like that. I didn't like that at all. And I'm pretty sure Troy Smith wouldn't like that at all. Because, let me tell you something. As a starting quarterback, he was, un like, Troy Smith is undefeated. Same as JT Barrett. Across the middle. And, as, and also um, Dwayne Haskins and Justin Field. There are a lot of undefeated quarterbacks in uh, Ohio State football history. Maybe, I don't know. I uh, haven't done my research a whole lot. And now it's third and ten. We have to get a first down. 
Uh, Chris Gamble's covered, but he's uncovered. Can I get him? Nope. Incomplete. All right. Well, I'm not going for any trickery here. I'm actually going to go for a field goal. And this will be a 50-yard field goal. From 50 yards. It's up. It's good. Mike Nugent. He is the king of field goals. And I don't care what you say. He is the king of field goals. He should be in the College Football Hall of Fame already. Heck, he should be in the freaking, you know, Pro Football Hall of Fame. He did play pro football. So why not put him in both? I would have done the same thing. Because, dude, Mike Nugent, he is the all-time scorer at Ohio State. That's just true fact. So here we go, and nothing they could do there. The fullback rumbles ahead for about a yard. A yard. <laughs> they have minus 20 rushing yards? What? That's insane. Michigan lines up in a bunch formation. He's going left. And they couldn't hook up. And almost picked off by Chris Gamble again. He would have one-handed that stuff. Even if you can't come up with a sack, just let the quarterback know you're coming and make him feel your presence. Sometimes that's just as effective as a sack. He drops back. He's under pressure. Oh, Will Allen almost picked that off too. But that was some good pass coverage. And now Michigan will have to punt the ball away. Which is beautiful. I love to see that. You love to see that, people. You love to see Michigan punting to me. Chris Gamble's going to take it from the 40. Almost got to the 50. Michigan has only had one first down. That's friggin' hilarious. And a bummer. They'll set up shot at the 47. Number 10 with three wide receivers. Back to pass. Looks. Going deep. Oh, Michael Jenkins. He's wide open and he's got it. And he's all the way down to the five yard line. The wide out comes up with a spectacular play. Yeah, and if I'm the coach, I put a big circle around that play so I could remember to call that one again. Good call. And Lionel Ross is going to run it in. Four yard gain by the back. And they'll go they didn't the call line. touchdown? Okay, well, we'll run it again. Okay, you didn't want to call a touchdown? Let's do this. Let's do this. Come on, touchdown. Lionel Ross. He got in three rushing touchdowns for him today. Seriously, you're, you're not that guy, pal. You're just not that guy. I thought Michigan was going to be tough for us, but... It seems... It hasn't gotten tough. And he tacks on the extra point. So with just over a minute to go in the half, the score, Ohio State 45, Michigan 7. Everyone's all lined up and ready for the... This is supposed to be varsity difficulty. I repeat, varsity difficulty. Which is basically normal. This is supposed to be normal mode, people. And I'm killing it on normal mode. They'll get the ball here at the 20. Number 23 lines up in the deep back. I formation. A little misdirection. He's gobbled up in the backfield. And Fred Pagick Jr. tackled him for a loss. And Michigan called a timeout. They have two remaining. Why would they call a timeout? Seriously. They, they should just punt it away for us. Takes the handoff, and wow, that guy was just standing there, doing absolutely nothing, and he let the ball drop to the ground. <laughs> That's funny. <coughs> oh, man. Michigan comes out with an eye formation. I'm going to run it and couldn't do anything about it. So I will take a timeout with one minute to go. Just because I can. 
This will be uh, Chris Gamble's 100th return here. He's at 99. This will be number 100. And let's see what happens here at number 100. Takes it from the 35. He's got running room. And he's got it almost to the 50. Like you said, Coach, one more block, and that could have been six. Let's go stretch this one out. <laughs> so Drew Carter right here. I got Drew Carter. I got Michael Jenkins and Chris Gamble. So let's see who will catch this one. Chris Gamble, he's open. He's got green. Incomplete. Let's go have back tackle this one. Oh boy. Oh Alright, let's go with slants. Ball on the 46-yard line. High formation here. Drops back to pass. He's looking. He's rolling right. This one's thrown deep. Gonna throw to Michael Jenkins. It's incomplete. Nice job there to bring up a fourth down. <sighs> you know it's fourth down. It's almost the end of the quarter. Might as well go for it with a hail mary. Throwing it to San Antonio Holmes, and it's tipped in the air. It's a picked off. So Michigan will run one more play, and they're going to go with a Hail Mary. Okay, uh, let's go with the dime. Cover two man. They're going with a Hail Mary here, and let's see if this will work for them. And we'll probably see how far he can throw it, as it should be the last play before the half. He drops back. Here comes the pressure. Oh, I almost sacked him. Tipped by Will Allen incomplete. After one half of play, this one is not even close. Our score, Ohio State 45, Michigan 7. So, yeah. <laughs> Michigan got the ball to start the game. So Michigan has not been good here, and Maurice Hall will return this kickoff. Number 28 takes it to 12. Ooh. And now a slight break in the action as the offense comes out onto the field for their next possession. Going with stretch. Number 30 lines up in the deep back. I formation. Drops back to pass. Looking, rolls to oh, I'm, I almost got sacked, and it's... Oh, it got caught by Drew Carter. The Michigan cornerback just tipped it, and Drew Carter caught it. Unbelievable. That is a bad mistake for Michigan. He just literally gave that ball to us. And here's how Drew Carter's been doing this season. Not as good as Michael Jenkins or Chris Gamble, but he has been contributing to this offense. And down he goes. Three yard gain by the running back. Now we're going to audible it. Because we're going to go throw it. I see Michael Jenkins. It's incomplete. That's what I like to see. Because when you call a zone defense, you have to be aware of what's behind you and in front of you. Let's go with a deep post. Michigan put six DBs on the field to counter this five receiver look. He drops back, looks, he rolls out to the right. Oh, Michael Jenkins, he's open. And he caught it. Amazing. He just stood there and caught it. While Michigan did absolutely nothing to do anything about it. Which is something you like to see, folks. You like to see it. First and ten. And this is the fifth play of the First and ten for the Buckeyes. Wow, okay. 
Yeah, that kind of defense did not expect that, so, uh... Didn't allow this tailback any room to run. Might as well go Second throw it. To go. This is the sixth play of this drive. Throwing it to Chris Gamble. That's a lob pass and it's incomplete. That one could have been an interception. Let's go with slants this time. The offense faces another third down as they line it up. The Wolverine bring in their dive package. Steps up in the Throwing it to Ben Hartsock. He was wide open and it's incomplete. Well, might as well go for a field goal. Might as well take the easy points. Number 85 into attempt the short field goal. Psych, I'm going for a fake! Ben Hart oh no wait, that wasn't Ben Hartsock, that was number 80, but hey! Got the first down! Haha! <laughs> With a trick play! <laughs> Who's number 80? Who who is he? Ryan Hamby. Ryan Hamby. I threw it to Ryan Hamby and boom, got a first down. Went for it on fourth and eleven and it paid off. Michigan is now mad at me and touchdown, Ohio State. Lionel Ross, fourth touchdown of the day. And you know what? Even make the Wolverines even mad. We're gonna go for two. Cause why? Well, as a once Not famous expected, quote from a once famous head two. football coach once said, because I couldn't go for three, <laughs> and I got the two points. And that quote was by the legendary Woody Hayes. Because uh, back during 1968, during the 1968 uh, Ohio State-Michigan game, he was asked by a reporter, why did you go for two? And he said, because I couldn't go for three. That is one of the most legendary quotes that man has ever has ever said. Like, seriously. Woody Hayes is the GOAT. Now, a lot of you might say, well, Nick Saban's the GOAT because he has more championships. False. Nick Saban was handed those championships. Woody Hayes worked for his championships, and that's why he is declared the GOAT. So, yeah. On this one, well, the defense really put the clamps down on that run. Boy, Brad, great effort up front by that defense. Second and 12 coming up here. Ball on the 18 yard line. Michigan lines up with a split backfield. And so far, I'm doing great. And another tackle for a loss. Middle linebacker number five. Michigan's running the ball and it's just failing on him. <laughs> <coughs> Let's see if they'll try to pass it this time. Hope they're going to pass it this time. And he threw it out of bounds. Pressure got to him. <laughs> and now they must punt it away to me. Because why? Because Michigan is three and out. They couldn't get a first down. Gets it off. Number seven takes it at the 47. Oh, geez, I couldn't do anything. Really didn't have any room to work on that punt return. Yeah, but his blockers have to do Michigan still has only one first down. Hilarious. They're on the right side of the 50 as they start this drive. I formation. Let's try to get some Heisman votes up for uh, Chris Gamble here. We're going to throw it to him. Ah, just. Overthrew it. That's okay. Let's go. Let's go. Hurry up. Hurry up. Hurry up. Hurry up. Offense. Let's get the uh, defense worn out. And uh, a hike. Oh, he's open. And I got picked off. And Chris Gamble made the tackle. Well, I've been picked off twice by Michigan. Maybe I should just start writing the ball more. They'll start this drive at the 16. Michigan lines up with three receivers. Little handoff. And he's taken down. And he gets a yard on the run. Second and nine coming up here. Ball on the 17-yard line. 
Number 23, alone in the backfield. And down he goes at the 18-yard line. A one-yard gain on the play. It's third down and eight to go. Ball on the 18-yard line. The Wolverine come out in the ace formation. Drops back and pass. He's come out and get him. Yes. The linebacker number five. You can't escape him. That gives him five for the game. This offensive line has got to do a better job of protecting their quarterback. And the punt team will come out. It's fourth down. Number 39 gets it off. Uh, Chris, why aren't you going for the ball? Number Thank you. And Chris Gamble. Chris Gamble. Chris Gamble. All the way to the 15-yard line. Oh, 14. I'll take that. I'll take that, too. All right. Let's go with... Uh, let's go with a slot special. Because I know Chris Gamble's going to... Chris Gamble's got to take this one in the end zone. Oh, he's open. He is open. Touchdown, Chris Gamble. And the Heisman numbers are going crazy. Let's go for two. Cause why not? Well, I thought we'd see the kicking unit, but they're lining up for two on the ground, up the middle. And they won't get the. And I couldn't succeed. That's fine. That's really fine. I think the coach thought his offensive line could just bulldoze their way into the end. Yeah. Couldn't get enough of a push. Kicks it off. And it looks like they're going to return from their own end zone and get him. Oh, ho, 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 that's a good field position for our defense. 12 yard line. It's time for Mad Robber O'Rama. Mad Robber O'Rama. Almost got sacked and it's picked off by Will Allen. Ah, <laughs> oh, crap. Face mask. Ooh! Face mask on the offense. I'll accept the penalty. So it'll be first down and 10 yards for us. Thank you for the extra yards, Michigan. That was. That was terrible of you to face mask us. I demand an apology. I demand an apology. Yeah. Seriously. How dare you face mask us? All right, we gotta hurry up, hurry up. We got only six seconds left. Hurry, ready, set, hike! All right, Michael Jenkins, he's got it. Touchdown! <laughs> Man, I gotta stop laughing so hard. Oh boy. Let's go for two. Cause why not? Why not go for two? Two, 67 to seven. My God, that is beautiful. <laughs> and Mike Nugent got all of this one. They're going to kneel it. Yep, how did I know? They're going to kneal it. So they'll get the ball at the 20-yard line, and I'm going to go mad robber them because they can't contain the mad robber. Michigan comes out with an eye formation. Here's the kill. They'll wrestle him down in the backfield. The Middle linebacker number five. That dude is dangerous. Same as AJ Hawk. The Wolverine line up in a split back set. He drops back. He's under pressure. His receiver has it. Okay. What was that? No, seriously. What was that? We were not supposed to do that. My God, was this supposed to This is blowing my mind. It's like, what were they thinking? We had them, and then we didn't. We just, we're just... Okay, we're just giving first downs now. I want to obliterate these guys. Come on. Well, it's the end of the third quarter anyway, and there's no way they're coming back. 
in five minutes. And look at that stadium. It's already starting to deplete because they knew they lost. Ha! It was a full big house. Now it's a semi-full big house. Because the Michigan fans are now big mad. They are big mad here in Ann Arbor. They're going to option it, and it does not work. It was not an option, but it was a pitch, but it doesn't work. If they were going with an option, I'm going to tell them it does not work. Give up. This is the fifth play of this drive. They line up with split backs. They'll give it off here. Okay, guys, guys, guys. They'll grab 10 yards there. This was not going to help me at all. Mad robber. We cannot let him get another first down. If we do, I'll be very sad. They'll use a 4-4 defense here. And off to the fullback. And he's taken down at the 41. And they get enough on the ground for the first. First and 10. And this is the seventh play of the current drive. Michigan goes with the ace set here. And he's stopped behind the line. Oh, what's a flag now and for? A flag on that play. Let's see what the call is. Got an inverted face mask on the defense. He didn't even put a face mask. He didn't grab him by the face mask. I saw that. I swear to God. I saw him wrap him around. Oh, the refs want Michigan to score another touchdown. Okay, refs. Thanks. Thanks for, you know, trying to let Michigan cheat. Yeah, I totally got that. Look, they didn't do anything. Fred Pagick Jr. just destroyed that Michigan running back. He's not that guy, pal. He's not that guy. And also, Michigan's not that guy, pal. They're not that guy. See? Now let's see what they will do. Are they going to go for a field goal? Oh, they want to go for it. You want to go for it? Okay. Let's go for it. Come on. Let's go for it. I'm ready to run through a brick wall here. Let's go. Let's go. Come on. Come on, man. Let's go. Hack the ball. I ain't scared of you. Yeah, you're going to throw? You're going to throw? Well, guess what? Incomplete. Chris Gamble got you on lockdown. He got you on lockdown. And you gotta put it all that's how tough our defense is. And that's why we're about to win the Big Ten Championship and head to New Orleans to play in the National Championship. They'll go to work at the 40-yard line. Ho! Ohio Let's go. Lines up with a split They'll throw on first down. Throws this one out to the right. Oh, yeah. Michael Jenkins caught that ball. Easily. Down to the 33. Consecutive completions for... Uh, Mr. Troy Smith, and already he's got 2,000 rushing, I mean, 2,000 yards passing. 13 interceptions and 40 touchdowns is, is okay. I mean, seriously, it's okay. We're going to throw to Michael Jenkins, and look at that. Already at the one-yard line. All right, we're going to go goal line, halfback, ISO. Let's see if they can take this one in for six. Touchdown. Touchdown, Ohio State. How about that? Another touchdown run. Listen to this stat, folks. That's five rushing All right, we're going to go half back ISO again. Because I want more points. I <laughs> want more points. And they got us. <sighs> fine. That's just fine. That's fine. I don't care. I don't care. Actually, I care immensely. I'm gonna take it from their own end zone. And they only got to the 20-yard line. Oh, 19-yard line. I'll take that, too. Mad robber. Because this play always works against those Wolverines. And it's hilarious. Oh, and yeah, that didn't work for you. A.J. Hawk met the running back now. Oh, isn't that sweet? It's second down and a long ways to go. Ball on the 12. Now it's second and seven on the 12 yard line. They come out with three wide receivers. He's got and nowhere to go. 
This is a heads up play Robert Reynolds back. with the tackle for a loss. And now they're at their own. Oh, my goodness. Oh, they're at their own nine-yard line. How shocking. Back to pass. Here comes a pressure. And they somehow caught that, and, but don't worry, Will Allen stopped it. So that means they have to punt. Hey, if you would have gotten some yards on first and second down, you wouldn't have needed so many on third down. They line up to punt this one away. I'm shocked there's still fans here in the big house. That's kind of weird. There should be only Buckeye fans in the big house, not Michigan fans. I'm shocked there's still Michigan fans in the big house. It's weird. Maybe they thought they were going to upset us, but no. And they take over after a nice punt return. And we still have more first downs than them. That's pretty funny. They line up in an eye. All right, looking. Let's go throw to Michael Jenkins. He caught it. Oh, wait, what? Didn't catch it? How? It was in his hands. With the lead late in the game, you just need to run the football. That's not a smart decision. So it's second and ten. Ball on the 39-yard line. Three wideouts here. He drops back. He's looking. Rolling out to the right side. Let's go throw to Chris Gamble, and it's incomplete. And that will stop the clock. Yeah, Brad, that doesn't make too much sense to me. You got the lead. Just run the football. Keep the clock running. I don't care, Lee Corso. I want to score more against Michigan. I'm going to throw to Michael Jenkins. Nope, I'm not. I'm going to get sacked. Okay. Okay. You, you, you have led me. You have led me no choice but to go hail Mary this ball. This is a really gutsy call going for it in this. <coughs> because you know. Michigan has brought me to the point of no return because you know they have brought me to this point in time where I just throw the ball deep with a Hail Mary. So here we go. Let's go throw it to, to uh, Santonio Holmes and I failed and turned the ball over on downs. Uh, well, I guess I'm not going to score those 80 points on Michigan. That's fine. That's so totally fine. They're gonna pitch it. Nothing doing. Tackled for a yeah, that pitch play. did not work they out for you at all. Over him on that yeah, they were able to penetrate the offense. And here's the player of the game for Ohio State. Michael Jenkins. 278 yards, 8 receptions, and a couple of touchdowns. He drops back. Pressure coming. And he got sacked. And I will take a timeout. Because they ain't getting away from me. <laughs> they ain't getting away from me. Mm -mm -mm. They're blitzing, they're stunning, they're confusing this quarterback to death. Michigan in a four wide set. He steps up, watch the middle. Incomplete. And that will stop the clock. And Michigan will have to punt the ball away again. Haha. He punts it. Number seven fields it at the twenty-six. To try to spin move and in work. So they bring him down after he picks up just a few on the return. Now I could just kneel the ball down and you know end the game, but no, I want to go score more. I'm getting aggressive, so let's do this. Oh, he's got this. Yep. Timeout. The Buckeyes call for a timeout. That was their second timeout. First and ten. Ball on the twenty-yard line. Number thirty is the deep back as they line up in the eye. Throws this one out to the left. And he got it. Touchdown, Ohio State. Man, this is amazing. The amount of success this guy is having throwing the football. I don't think anybody expected this coming in. You're right. That's his fifth touchdown pass. Fifth touchdown pass of the day? Dang. That's crazy. And probably over 300 yards uh, catching, too, for Michael Jenkins. He's got 300 yards already, probably. <coughs> <coughs> oh yeah, he's definitely got it. And I went with the one point conversion because I want to be safe. I went with the field with the extra point 
just trying to be safe and stuff. So yeah. <sighs> I'm getting tired. And they're gonna take it from their own end zone, which it failed. The offense gets ready to start a new drive as they just couldn't get anything going on their last possession. Going three and out. They'll take over at the 16. The Wolverines come out with split backs. Back to pass. He's in trouble. Throws it to the They're gonna throw. Oh, he almost picked it off. That would have been epic. He sure did. This kid is very athletic. If he doesn't get a pick, he does his best to knock the ball down. Defense lines up with eight men in the box. He's under pressure, and he's gonna be sacked for a while. Sacked. The Buckeyes timeout. Take a timeout. And now they got <laughs> the reason why I call a timeout because I'm giving them one last chance. Ball on the 13 yard line. <coughs> oh, excuse me. Michigan comes out with an eye formation. One last chance for you guys. He's got to and you got sacked. Ah. Sack. By Fred Pagick and Jr. And that's it. Game over. We win. Big sack party out there. I feel sorry for this quarterback. He's taking a beating. He's been taking some serious hits all day long, Lee. The coach might want to get him out of there. <coughs> He's hurt. Another hard-fought game between these two rivals. Was this what you expected to see? They've talked about the rivalry all week long, and for good reason. We saw the intensity down on the field every play, and it showed us why these teams love to hate each other. It'll be interesting to see. And look at Michigan's quarterback. Next time they play. We here at EA Sports thank you for watching this game of NCAA Football 2004. Our final score in this one, Ohio State 80, Michigan 7. Our thanks go out to everyone here at EA Sports. I'm Brad Nessler for Kirk Herb Street and Lee Corso signing off. Until next time, so long everybody. And Michigan only scored one touchdown against me. <laughs> Unbelievable. Miami remains undefeated. So we might see a Miami-Ohio State National Championship game after all. And there you go. 12-0 overall. 8-0 in the Big Ten. We are the Big Ten champions of 2003. Unbelievable. And I'll say my EA Sports bio. But I'm not going to save that. Simulate through week 14. North Texas won the rivalry. Good job for them. <clears throat> so. With that, we've locked up our spot in the national championship. So. There, and there's, and like... Miami has only one more game left, so... Yeah. And, uh... Let's see the, uh, Awards finalists. Looks like Michael Jenkins is about to win that. I'm not gonna win Coach of the Year, which sucks. Let's take a look at the bowl projections. <clears throat> so, for the major BCS bowls, they're projecting... Ohio State Miami to play in the national championship, which is the Sugar Bowl, the Nokia Sugar Bowl. Tennessee versus Oklahoma in the Tostitos Fiesta Bowl. Um, uh, Notre Dame and Florida State in the FedEx Orange Bowl. And then Washington and Kansas State in the Rose Bowl. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to be simulating the whole rest of the week. So we can figure out who I'm going to be playing in the National Championship. Well, it seems I'm first in Miami in the National Championship. Okay. That's just wonderful. That's fine. I'll play Miami. I don't care. Miami's going down. You hear me? They're going down. So, yeah. Simulate the rest of the other weeks. Their names 11 and 1 somehow. And, wow, Navy won the Army Navy game in overtime. <laughs> Let's see what awards I got. Oh, wait. Yep, Big Ten Championship. I'll keep that in my uh, trophy case. 
It's all nice and dandy. Now, Kansas State won't be able to go to the national championship because, you know, they lost. <laughs> they lost to Oklahoma. That's funny. <coughs> so, what does that mean? So, here's our award winners. Chris Gamble won the Jim Thorpe Award. AJ Hawk won Linebacker of the Year. Center number 76, our center, Alex Stepanovich, won Offensive Lineman of the Year. Michael Jenkins won Receiver of the Year. AJ Hawk is the winner of the Chuck Benark Award. <coughs> Michael Jenkins won the Maxwell Award. And Chris Gamble wins the Heisman Trophy. Unbelievable. So let's see the final Heisman voting. AJ Hawk got one point. Uh, Boise State's halfback got 159 points. Kansas State's running back got uh, 954 points. But it was a big blowout. For Chris Gamble as he defeated Michael Jenkins for the Heisman. 1,946 points to 1,536 points. So, so Chris Gamble won the Heisman by 410 points. That's crazy. And there it is, ladies and gentlemen. Ohio State versus Miami in the Nokia Sugar Bowl in New Orleans, Louisiana. How about that? How about that? So. I'm going to simulate this bowl week. Because. Oh boy. Next time. We will be headed. To. The Nokia Sugar Bowl. In New Orleans, Louisiana. To play the University of Miami, the Miami Hurricanes, in a dream national championship rematch. Like, this is kind of like the rematch you've always wanted to see back in 2000, during the 2003 season. Ohio State and Miami. Well, it's about to happen right now. Well, not right now, but it's about to happen soon. So, yeah. So, with that, guys, I'd like to thank you all for watching this brand new episode of NCAA Football 2003. I mean, not NCAA Football 2003, 2004. It's 2004. So, if you enjoyed this video, smack a like on it. Subscribe if you're new to this channel. Check out my other videos I've uploaded to my channel. And I shall see you guys next time for the finale of NCAA Football 2004, where we go... To New Orleans to battle the Miami Hurricanes in the Nokia Sugar Bowl National Championship game. So with that, I'll see you guys later.